here with Livestream here at IBC, and who are you? My name is Ian McCoy. I'm a senior producer at Livestream. Uh, Livestream is a live streaming company that also makes their own hardware and software to help people stream. When did Livestream start? Uh, 2007, under a different name, Mogulus. Uh, I think we've been live streamed since 2009. And who's and, the founder? Uh, his name is Max Hout. He's still with the company. He's is the he here? Uh, he's not here right now. Now he's he's no longer the CEO, but he's still the head of uh, the video products group. He's in charge of making all our hardware and software. And when did you start? I started in 2013. And you are the... I, I'm one of the senior producers, so I take the hardware and software out in the field and produce live Help streams to get it for work. large clients. So there's this kind of uh, hardware right here. You do all these cool switch... This is a hardware that goes into your hardware. There's all kinds of hardware. Yeah, so this is actually our proprietary software running on a custom-built piece of hardware, which allows customers to create what essentially looks like a TV-quality live stream. So you can cut between different cameras, you can add graphics, you can roll in media, uh, and you can stream to a multitude of destinations yeah. from our pro uh, systems. And right here, this little 4K logo, is that real? Yep, so this is our newest model, it's HD 550 4K. It's the first 4K unit we had, it has five 4K capture cards on it. So how does it enter the is uh, SDI yep, or HDMI can, too? You can do HDMI or 6G SDI for 4K uh, recording and streaming. You can put... How many? Six? Five. Five? The bottom one's an output. So five 4K cameras? Correct. At the same time? Yep. Just with the HDMI cables? Yep. And then you have a five multi-camera setup for 4K live stream. Exactly. Um, or 4K recording or 4K, you know, iMag or anything like How that. How much does it cost? So the 4K unit is 10,000 US. That's for the hardware, software, built-in screen, keyboard, mouse, and the carry bag. Which is actually... Uh, uh, Pretty affordable pricing, compared right? to the competition. Anybody competing in that kind of pricing? Uh, not at that pricing in an all-in-one solution that's so small and portable. You go to some of our competitors. What's and, the name? I forgot. I the, uh, there's New Tech and Blackmagic. And they, they have a 4K solution? They do, but it's you know this big and it's you've got exact. It, it's bigger and more expensive. For sure. And it's not as optimized for streaming. So this is ten thousand dollar five multi camera 4K, which is perfect for uh, uh, live streaming the the stand up stand up club. Yep. That's an awesome use right there, right? Exactly. How many people are doing this? How many stand-up uh, clubs have this set up already? I mean, there's all different types of customers. Small venues, um, there's a lot of sporting leagues using it for, you know, press conferences, um, music, a lot of corporate use. So there's a whole bunch of different types of people using the hardware and software. How many customers do you have? Uh, I believe on the platform side, we have... Um, over 10,000 paying customers and a bunch more on various free plans of ours. Uh, and we've also sold a ton of hardware and software to people that don't even use the platform because this hardware and software can actually stream to any platform. Really? Yep. You can go to YouTube Live. Yep, you can go to Livestream, Facebook, YouTube Live, Twitter, or your own custom RTMP or Zixi servers as well. So you can go to YouTube. And this kind of Zixi, uh, for example, does it go to many different things? What is Zixi? Is like so Zixi is just a different streaming protocol, right? Like RTMP is the most popular streaming protocol. Zixi is a newer one that's a little bit lower latency. Not as many people use it as RTMP, but some people still really like it. Uh, and uh, it's easy to just choose your angles right yep, here. You can, you can cut with the keyboard. You see I'm cutting cameras. You can also cut with the mouse. Or you can cut with our control surface. You can also use this to, you know, Add graphics, I just add a lower third. You can roll in pre-recorded media. Uh, there's ISO recordings, chroma key. It's literally a whole TV studio in a box. Can you use AI to automatically choose the best cameras? Not you yet. Don't have that kind no. of thing yet? That's a popular request and it's something that hopefully we'll work on in the future. Like have it go a little bit automatically where it yeah. kind of uh, goes to the, the main one but then still goes to the other ones once in a while, not too often. We don't have that system but in here yet. Maybe the text that there's some laugh, laugh uh, if people are laughing, yeah. then it shows show the, the crowd or something. Yeah. We're working on something like that, but maybe in the future. But you have something smaller right here, which is also cool. Yep. What so is this? This is a live streaming camera. It's called the Mevo. Can we grab it one? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, hold on. Let's yep. do the Sorry. demo first. Yep. The camera pairs with an app on your phone, and the phone allows you to make it look like you have multiple cameras from one camera. So I tap on me, and I have a shot of me. I tap on you, now I have a shot of you. No, so the broadcast is yep. just a little zoomed in I go in back area. to wide. So It's that, 4K. Exactly. Oh, it's a 4K sensor that outputs in HD, and that's how it works. 
But so you can, even the, if you take full wide, it's still HD. It's but HD it's the whole streaming, picture. yeah. You can record wide in 4K, but streaming has to be HD. Um, cool. So that alone used to take three cameras. You know, you need a wide shot, a camera on you, a camera on me. I can do all from one camera, and this streams to these four platforms, live stream, Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube. And it's actually funny that you asked about AI, because if I come in the settings here, and I turn on face detection, live follow, and autopilot, and we wait a second, the camera will actually, hold on, let me make, start intermittently cutting between the various shots that it's found. Yeah, so um, if you start a little bit on the side. Yep, it'll, so you see it cut to me. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm talking a little bit. And now it'll cut to you. So, and now you're talking yeah. again. So hey, hey, it's just gonna kind of bounce back and forth. So there's a little bit of AI in that. I don't know if I'd really call it AI. It's, it's awesome, and it's yeah. following my face. Yep, it's can you try to move a little bit yep. so we can so try to we see can you? make that smaller? Yep, and you know you can see that it's moving with me. The blue box is following my face. If we turn, let me turn autopilot off so it stops cutting. But then we'll just pick my face, and then you'll see if I, you know, come here. Just, the shot just, follows just, around with me. Just my second. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Very so, fast, or very fast tr face tracking. Yeah, so that's so pretty much how, it. How do you develop something like that? You need to have uh, good partners in the sensor, in the camera, and the everything to make uh, hardware work. Yeah, exactly. It was actually um, our original CEO and current video uh, head of video products idea. He was the watching. Founder? Yeah, he was yeah. watching the Super Bowl, and he realized that it would be very boring if you just had to watch a wide shot the whole time. So you needed to be able to edit between multiple looks. Um, and so he kind of came up with the idea. We got some hardware partners and stuff. And uh, and is it just over Wi-Fi? Uh, so there's two ways to connect. If you just have the camera, you can compare your phone over Wi-Fi, or you can connect over Bluetooth and then stream over your data connection. Or if you have our boost connection, you can actually attach over a hardwire Ethernet connection. And how does it connect to the phone? Uh, you would have to have the phone on a Wi-Fi network that was associated with the same Right. Platform. And is the that... quality is pretty good? Yep, you pretty can stream awesome. in 720 or 1080 and you can record in up to 4K. And it's not expensive, right? No, the camera by itself is $400 US. 100? Yeah. And then the boost accessory is an additional 250 And which... it does uh, Ethernet? Ethernet, it gives you 10 extra hours of battery and gives you a USB port for either data transmission or external audio. You can Next. store in a USB hard drive. Uh, no, there is a micro SD card for recording mm -hmm. storage, though. Cool, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so, very cool. So, uh, what's in the future for this? Is the direction of the company right there, yep. right? So, li what Livestream more more likes hardware. to offer is that we are the only end-to-end -end streaming provider. So, we have a platform and cameras and hardware and software. There are a lot of companies that do one of these things, but we're the only company that does all three. Uh, so it's just continuing to improve all three facets to give a good end-to-end -end experience. So this is running an Intel, <laughs> I'm guessing, i7, some kind of Intel. Yep, Intel i7 processor. And maybe uh, it's a Windows backend or yep, something. Windows 10 backend. Yeah. Yep. But I'm thinking it would be awesome if you kind of work a little bit further on it, find a solution to make a much smaller solution yep. that still can do multi Yep. Four or five different uh, HDMI we have inputs. Some thing, we have some things in the work for, you know, potentially in the future, like cloud-based version of the software or something like that. Um, but that's all in development right now, nothing official yet. I totally wonder if the latency can work with the cloud-based multi-camera. We'll find out. Uh, we'll see how we'll it happens. We'll see soon. Well, otherwise, I'd like to see something like this, but running on an ARM chip, you know? Yep. May maybe even r built into that thing. Yeah. You have an HDMI output and five HDMI inputs. Yeah. It. I'm just sorry. Yeah. No, it's fun. It's not a secret. We'll see yeah. what happens. Yeah, we'll see okay. what happens. Okay, cool. Cool.